Ugh, if I don't knock it off, I'm going to be that bitch. I'm going to be that bitch in the video that you want to punch because she keeps going... <sighs> Hi guys, welcome back to the nonsense that is my channel. It's Monday. You guys are watching this on Monday. It's not really Monday. <laughs> no, it's not. What is today? Shit. It's Saturday. <laughs> It's Saturday, but I'm doing my I hauled it, but did I like it? It's kind of like my luxury lookouts, only luxury, and then everything else is in my I hauled it. So, everybody likes these, right? So, why not? So, I have five things I want to talk to you guys about. Some good, some bad, some just questionable. So, let's just go ahead and jump into it. Make sure that you stay to the end if you want to. Could be a good thing. Damn, I am a hot mess today. Put it on me! So the first couple of things that I want to talk to you guys about are drugstore and is from Flower Beauty. That being the translucent setting powder and the In Your Prime Pore Minimizing Primer. I feel like I should have like, they're going to battle each other. <gasps> Can you guys tell how this video is going to go? I'm going to try to get it together. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the Flower Translucent Setting Powder. This, you guys have seen me use this in a couple of trying new makeup, get ready with me, things like that. You guys have seen me use this. And for the most part, I do like this, but I also don't. Um, I find myself more and more not reaching for this, not gravitating towards it. When I first got it, I absolutely loved it. First off, the packaging, while it's super cute, very kind of like matte see-through on top, it is huge. This is big. <laughs> That's what she said. And that's what she's saying right now. I can barely store this sucker. It is so big. And then you... <laughs> and then you open it up and you have your powder in here. Now the powder is super fine, you guys. Super, super fine. It's... What I like about this so much is the fineness and the softness. It is everywhere. Oh my god. It's the softness on my face. When I use this, it makes my face feel softer than any other powder that I have. So I gravitate to this for that reason. On a huge negative note though, this causes the worst flashback ever, which you guys have seen on camera in those Get Ready With Me's or trying new makeups that I did. You can buff it out though. So while this has a huge negative, it's correctable. It's just do you want to spend the time to do it? In my opinion, at times it can be worth it because of how it makes your face feel, but for the most part for me, find myself reaching for it less and less and less. So I think they have a good thing going here. I think they need to go back to the drawing board, try again. They need to get rid of the flashback, keep that super soft formula, that really finely milled powder formula, and make it so it doesn't cause flashback because that that was a pain in the butt. That is a pain in the butt product. Do I think that it's worth having? If you're not going to be taking pictures and you're not going to be on camera, yeah, it's completely worth having. It's super soft. But if you're going to be taking pictures on video, you really need to buff that out and use it with caution. And even then, you might end up having some severe flashbacks. So that's something to think about. All right, and the next thing is the primer. Now, they have a few of these, um, all different kinds of primers. This is the In Your Prime Pore Minimizing Primer. This does not work. <laughs> this does not work. This does absolutely nothing for my pores. Nothing. However, I do use it and I do like it because it's very hydrating without making me greasy or oily because I do have oily skin. So I have to be careful with primers that are a little bit too greasy because it just makes my foundation move all over my face. It is a hot mess. This doesn't do that. This is very moisturizing for me, but it causes a great base, which is what I want a primer to do. So I have absolutely no problem with this, but it doesn't do what it says it does. It does not do anything for my pores. Absolutely nothing. So this is something that you wanted to get because you thought maybe it would help you with your pores. No. Nope. Now I want to talk about two liners. These are in the high-end range. The first one being from Stila. I've been trying out a lot of Stila lately, which is really exciting because it's just a brand that you know and not a lot of people talk about, but you know that they have some major hits like Kitten. 
any kind of kitten that they make but not a lot of people talk about them so you're always questioning whether you should get something or not or what you should get so we're going to be talking about Stila as a brand pretty soon but this is their smudge kajal I know I'm saying that wrong I know but you know what I mean don't you and this is the their eyeliner it's an intense black smudge eyeliner when I first saw this, I was like, you know what, this is probably going to be a super black eyeliner that's just not going to be for me because it's a smudge eyeliner, which means that it will smudge. I have the worst just reaction to smudge eyeliners because my eyes water a lot. So those tend to either disappear on me very quickly or bunch up in the corners of my eyes and it's a horrible, horrible, ugly mess. I used this and well you can smudge it and that's really what it's for is putting it down and smudging it with the smudge tip at the end. It works beautifully for that. I've used it both ways. I've used it just to smudge it and I've also used it like I would a normal eyeliner in my waterline. It works both ways. This has about a two to five second range time where you can smudge it and after that it is set and it's not going anywhere. So if you put it down and you don't smudge it, it's still going to set and not go anywhere. And this is a super, super dark black eyeliner. I almost called it a mascara. I don't know what's wrong with me but this is like super black intense and I love it I, I love it I mean I'm sure that there are other eyeliners out there that are way cheaper than the Stila eyeliners I personally have a very hard time buying high-end eyeliners like the pencil types really really hard time doing that I don't think that it's really worth it but if you are the type that's in the market you have the finances for that I think it's great and then we have the Lancome RT liner RT liner art liner there's no eye in there. Just art liner. I was really, really curious about this and I really wanted to try it out. I have really good luck with Lancome products. I think that they're extremely overpriced, but it is what it is. You, I got this because I knew it wasn't a felt tip, but it kind of is. It's just a more longer, flexible felt tip. When you first get it, there's not a lot of product on this felt tip. It's all in here and you kind of have to like shake this really really hard and I've still been shaking it for like two weeks now still trying to get the product at the very end of this applicator and it's still not working I do not think that this is worth it at all I'm very disappointed in this this is just like the essence eyeliner I talked to you guys about the applicator is too long and too flimsy I will keep this because it's a high-end eyeliner and I don't want to waste it but it's only for those days where I'm not going to do a cat eye. I have no control with this whatsoever. And the tip of the applicator is almost rounded like a pencil lead, like the point of a pencil lead. So in not even like a just sharpened one, like a I've used it all day kind of pencil end. So it's a little bit rounded and not pointed enough for me to get a very pointed straight line. So this is not an eyeliner that is made for cat eyes. This is more for just lining the lid or whatever else you do with them. But this is not good for what I was hoping it would be for. It looked a little bit sharper on online. So I'm a little disappointed in that. It's not horrible, but it's not, it's not worth it to me. Not, no. No. And then lastly, I got this little metallic eyeshadow from shophush.com. Um, I'm still trying to work on my coupon code not working. I don't know why because it says in my little like influencer thing that it's still good until the end of April. So I'm not sure why it's not working. I'm waiting for the, the rep that is like the middleman between me and the company to email me back. And that takes a very long time. It's a little irritating to say the least. Um, but I got this from them I actually picked it out. I was really really curious about these because I've been using a lot more loose type shadows for you know my half cut creases on where I put my base. I wanted to try this out. This is the Malibu Glitz Metallic Shadow and this is in White Pearl. I This is super super cheap you guys. You open it up and it actually comes with a sifter which I thought was really nice for such an affordable eyeshadow. This is so gorgeous so gorgeous and you can use this for anything anything brow bone highlight inner corner highlight your lid you want to use it for a highlighter on your face go for it this is such an amazing eyeshadow that I want the whole collection and they have quite a few colors of these this I think is a little bit of a hidden treasure within shop hush that not a lot of people are talking about so this I was excited about I was 
I was super super happy I couldn't wait to talk to you guys about this and I think that it's a really great idea that if you're on there and you're buying some palettes because that's really what they're more known for is the bad habit palettes I would actually take a look at other items on there because these shadows once people actually get how good these are they're gonna be sold out for a long time and this blew my mind all right, so that is everything that I wanted to review today. If you have any questions about anything that I talked about, if I didn't cover anything, just leave those down in the comments and I will always get back to you guys. Sometimes I get yakking and I get really excited and I forget to talk about things that you guys would obviously want to know. So if I forgot anything, just ask in the comments. Now I've been telling you guys pretty much all over my social medias that I was going to stick a pretty massive giveaway into one of my videos and here it is. So if you guys stayed to the end of this video, you were in for a huge ass treat because I'm doing a three winner giveaway. Three person give, give what? There's going to be three winners. <laughs> what I mean it is going to be international I'm gonna have all of the details that you need to know down below in the description box for you guys you will have to click the link because I am going to be using like a raffle copter or something like that some kind of automated website just to hold all the information for me but this is gonna be super super fun I have a lot of amazing giveaway prizes I'm gonna go through them really quickly if you want to see what is all in the giveaway I have given you guys a little bit of sneak peeks I've showed you on my patreon I just I am so excited so let me show you what is in this so there's gonna be a first place second place or third place I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it I might do it so you can choose which one you want to be I'm um, that it'll all be in the description box where you either put one two or three um so it's it kind of just worked out that way with how I had everything so I'm going to go through this quickly. This is, oh, now this is the third place winner. Now this with the face products, this is going to be for a medium to dark skin tone. Um, but anybody can enter for any number of prizes, any number, but this does have some darker skin tone products in it, like the cover girl powder. Um, there's a darker highlighter in there. There's a darker vitalist, vitalist go glow. I have some, there's a ton of CoverGirl, you guys, CoverGirl eyeliner, I have some of the Katy Perry glosses, and they're in kind of like darker shades, I have um, this beautiful, you guys saw this, I think through Glossy Box, the Cover FX um, medium, it's in medium, um, like lip concealer, I don't know, some eyelashes, some glow illuminator, I have the concealer I'm forgetting what everything is called um, mascara a one stick which is another cream concealer there's eyeliners in here and then I have I'm making so much noise I'm sorry and then I have the smoky covergirl true naked palette and I also have the color corrector palette in there as well so there is a bunch of things in here more than even I just showed you but that is going to be the number three prize pack and let me show you number two now like I said before you guys can enter for any one you want I mean if you don't have the skin type or skin tone for some of the products in here you can just give them to people that you know that do but this is more um darker medium medium kind of skin types for the skin tone products as well so you got more covergirl um two covergirl highlighters in here which are more of a lighter tone Woo! more of a lighter tone but still dark you have Too Faced Lip Topper in the Mermaid one. You have the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara, CoverGirl Powder. Um, you have some brushes in here from Iconic London and other places. We have an all-nighter kind of samplet thing here. Um, the Katie Cat thingies, Katy Perry glosses. A lot of the Melting Lip Pouts and the Queen Major Shade Liquid Lipsticks. A bunch of those. CoverGirl Brow Pencils, Eyeliners, Brow Pomades. And then we have a palette here from Shop Hush. This is the Oakland Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I don't know. I don't know. It's a matte eyeshadow palette. And then we have another palette in here from Shop Hush, which this one is gorgeous. I think that this is a dupe for the Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. And this is the pressed pigment one. It shows all the colors here on the back. It's gorgeous. So that is going to be prize pack number two. And then prize pack number one is kind of huge. 
it's it's just kind of huge and this can be for medium to light skin tones um or anyone for that matter it just it doesn't matter you get stuff that doesn't work for you color wise pass it on you get a bubble box that doesn't show shit a bubble box <laughs> <laughs> and then you get the 10 piece eye brush set from AOA I heard this is amazing you get that coveted AOA pink sponge everybody's talking about believe me you're gonna want it two of the covergirl eyeliners in brown and black the Freeman mask the covergirl concealer eyebrow brush the YSL and this is the Touche Eclat all-in-one glow and this is in honey the Unicorn Tears Too Faced Lip Topper. The Belle Pierre Mascara. A bunch of lippies, you guys. I mean, a bunch of CoverGirl lippies. Just a ton. A ton. Just more and more and more and more on there. You get a Nude Stick Lippy. And Intense Matte Pe Retro. I almost said Pedo. This is a lip and cheek pencil from Nude Stick. It's very gorgeous. You're going to get the Stila Magnificent Metals in Metallic Dusty Rose. That's cute. CoverGirl Powder. Pomade. A Bobbi Brown Lipstick. Two of the CoverGirl Highlighters. Some Zoo Beauty little samples. I really wanted someone to try that out. A deluxe size sample of the All Nighter Setting Spray. Yeah, Setting Spray. One of the... Katy Perry palettes. I'm not with it today. The really coveted Shop Hush Bad Habit palette in Athena. This is everything. And then the dupe for the Tarte Amazonian Clay. This is the Amazonian Clay palette from Oakland. So this is what you guys will be getting in price pack one. Now I do want to say if you guys want one because I think everybody will want one but if you want all of them none of them matter or if you want a specific one I want you to comment down below and let me know um you can say one and two or one and three or one two and three I just want to know so whoever wins I'll know which one they want so I will leave all of the rules every detail you guys need to know about this giveaway will be down below in the description box so please look and follow it to a T so you make sure you enter correctly I just want to thank you guys so much for being here, for supporting me, for watching every single video that I put out, even if it's not for you. These are the kinds of people that I want to give back to is you guys. You guys that support me through everything and are just true friends and supporters. So everything that I talked about in today's I Hold Up a Day I Like It will be listed down below along with all of the rules for the giveaway. It is pretty in-depth so there are going to be some things that you have to do if you want to enter but it's going to be completely worth it. It is going to be so much fun. There are so many products there and I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys and I can't wait to do another one. There are going to be giveaways galore soon happening here because I'm just in it. I'm so ready. It's so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.